Question seven and eight have similar wording, and these two questions say two prime factors of blank are. And the hint that I have given is to factor using split the middle method. And so when you see a quadratic as a trinomial, so you have three terms, and it's set up in this way, it's already in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Hopefully you think of making a t-chart. Where we multiply, let's first identify a is seven, b is five, and c is negative two. And this chart is just a method for guess and check. So we're gonna try and find a times c, so that's negative 14, and then b over here, which is five. Two numbers that multiply to get negative 14 and add to get five. So we might try negative one times 14, and that adds up to 13, that didn't work. And then maybe negative two times seven, which is five, so that one worked out. Now these two become the middle term. So this, I'm gonna rewrite this, seven n squared plus five n minus two. So now we're gonna replace the five n, we're splitting the five n into the minus two n and plus seven n. So we first rewrite the seven n squared, subtract two n, add seven n, and the minus two comes down. Now we could have written these in either order, and it will all work out the same. So we then factor by grouping. We have two groups. We look at the first group, and now this becomes very similar to what we did up above. We're just looking for common factors. Seven and two don't have anything in common, but n squared and n have an n in common. So we'll write the n in front of our parentheses and divide. Seven n squared divided by n is seven n, and two n divided by n, so to bring down that minus sign, is just a two. The n's cancel out. Plus, because we have a plus sign here, and seven n and minus two do not have anything in common, so in that case, we put a one. And we rewrite seven n minus two. And now you'll notice the seven n minus two is in common. So that becomes our first group of parentheses, seven n minus two. And then we have the n and the plus one as our leftovers, and that will go in our second group. So our fully factored form is seven n minus two n plus one. For number eight, similar type of question. And we know, another way that we know that this is a split the middle question is that we have a trinomial that's a quadratic and the a value is not one. So we can go to the t chart multiplying a times c. So five times negative six is negative 30. And our b value here is a, is a one. So our b value is a one. And we're trying to find the two terms that multiply to get negative 30 and add to get one. So you might start with negative 30 and one. Oh, since we're, they add to get a positive number, then we should probably keep the smaller of the two as the negative. So we'll add those together and we get 29. Then maybe we'll try two and or negative two and 15. So again, we're just thinking of factors that go into negative 30, and those add up to 13. And then maybe three, negative three and 10. Those add up to seven, still not to one, but getting closer, none of these work. And then four doesn't go, and five goes in, so negative five and six, and those add up to one. So now we know the two terms that we'll use to split the middle. So we have 5x squared plus 6x minus 5x minus 6. And we have our two groups. Factor out the greatest common factor, which is x. Divide, and we get 5x. Divide, and we get 6. Here we have a minus sign, 
And again, 5x minus 6, uh, these two terms are relatively prime, so it's just going to be a minus 1. So we're going to divide each term by minus 1, negative 1. Negative 5x divided by negative 1 is positive 5x. Negative 6 divided by negative 1 is 1. We see the 5x plus 6 in common. So that is our first group, 5x plus 6. And the x and the minus 1 is in common. So that becomes, or sorry, is the, are the leftovers. And so that's our second group. And these can be written in either order. So it would be the same thing if you wrote, or it would be equivalent to write x minus 1 times 5x plus 6.